guys welcome back to quick tip Wednesday I'm at Costco <laughs> thank you for all the comments from my last video I know it was a little bit different <laughs> talking about my dating life and I apologize if I came off superficial at all or was like making fun of the, you know the guy's height or anything like that I was not I was just simply saying um, to be honest with who you are and kind of be proud of who you are. I definitely didn't mean to generalize all men. I'm sure there are a lot of deceiving women on those sites too. So for all you men out there, hang in there also. I know you're going through the same things. And yeah, it's just a jungle out there. It's tough for all of us. So I'm definitely taking a break from it and I'm gonna just go out more. A lot of you guys said, um, go to church, go to the gym, go and just do stuff. And um, I've been wanting to check out the meetup groups. I know there's meetup.com. And another friend of mine was talking about like an adventure. It's called Adventure Something. And that's like another group event thing that even takes you outside of the country to travel. So yeah, I'm just gonna look into a bunch of things like that and just try to enjoy life and be happy and get out and not look for someone. Stay true to who you are and I agree with going out, talking to friends, letting people know, hey, I'm available and I'm serious and I want something serious. And you know, you tell that to the universe, you tell that to God and you just ask for help in that category and it'll come when it's ready to come, for sure. Let's do some quick shopping and then I'm gonna get to the quick tip for today. can't wait till they get home to start eating the chicken. There was a lot of stoplights. All right, we made it. All right guys, so I'm back home now and I gotta get ready for work soon, put these groceries away. But here is the quick tip for today. A good rule of thumb for me is to not eat when you're not really hungry. Everything that society tells us, you gotta have your veggies, you gotta have your fruits, you gotta have a well-rounded meal, and you gotta eat three times a day or six times a day. There's all these rules and we're all different. So you should only eat when you feel hungry. You should only eat the way that you feel your best. Limiting what I eat on the days that I'm not really feeling that hungry also helps me to not have to log all the time. If I'm constantly snacking or having late night desserts or having like um, heavy big size meals, then I'm always gonna have to log to make sure I'm staying within the calorie budget. But if I only have some days like that, and then some days where I eat very little, like take the meal I just had for instance, I had those ribs in the car. Because pork has a lot of fat and it was pretty greasy, I am just so full, but like in a good way, not sick full, but I'm just content. And I had every intention on coming home and having ribs like with a salad, with some dressing, but it didn't work out that way and that's okay. But it doesn't mean I have to go and have a salad right now just because I feel like I need some veggies with my protein. When you force yourself to eat more just because you're trying to have like a variety of nutrients, you're just gonna end up eating more calories, you're gonna fall into a plateau and you're gonna feel like you're not losing weight and wondering why. So this could be part of the reason. It's okay to have 1400, 1600 calories one day and then like 700 or 900 calories another day. Some days we are um, going through hormone changes and we're more hungry. Some days we are working out a lot more or we were really active the day before, so we're hungrier that day. But then there's other days where we have been pretty lazy for a few days, so our body is not requiring that many calories. It's not requiring a lot of energy. And sometimes it just calls for a break. So there will even be some days where I have brought lunch and dinner to work, but I don't really feel like eating lunch. I kind of feel like going on my my run or just walking around the plaza and just window shopping. We don't always have to eat just because it's lunchtime and this is the allotted time that we're supposed to eat at. 
you know, just go with how you feel. And when you get better at that intuitive eating, it's gonna really help you out long term. But yeah, so I just kind of know my limit, like my maximum, and but some days I go below that and I feel great, I feel fine. It's not um, a goal necessarily to have to reach those numbers every day. And those lunch times that I was talking about, sometimes my friends at work will ask me what I ate for lunch and I'll say, oh no, I didn't eat anything. And they always give you that strange look like, oh, that's not healthy for you. And I know they mean well, but it's not like I'm doing it on purpose. It's not that I'm hungry and I'm forcing myself not to eat just to lose weight. It's just about intuitive eating and listening to your body and learning that it's okay to eat when you're hungry. If I've brought like a cold lunch or I just have some protein bars at work that I know I can snack on later, then I don't have to eat just at the time that they tell me to eat. I can wait and take a break later on when I actually feel hungry. Go a couple days where you maybe only have one meal or you fast for a longer period in the morning. Um, you know, try different things out. Not every day has to be the same, but if you are into routine and every day is the same and you are continuing to lose weight, then definitely keep it that too. I just wanted you guys to know that this is what I do and it's not the, you know, end all be all to keto. Everyone does it a little differently, but maybe it's something that you can try or at least feel comfortable with. It's hard, you know, you have a lot of people telling you how you should eat and what you should do and sometimes you have to really block all that out and do what feels right for you. Maybe that means not telling people at work that you're skipping lunch today. All right guys, that's it for this Quick Tip Wednesday. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe for more tips and uh, updates on my life and my weight loss journey. Um, there won't be any updates to dating though. I don't think I'm ready for that. But I will have updates for groups that I meet up with and friends that I make along the way and hopefully just experience a lot more things to life and have fun and be happy. That's what I'm excited about and I agree with all of you guys that said I think love will come when I least expect it. And I will see you on Sunday.